Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with day 24 of Scrap Timber 2024. And today's prompt is stars. So just like the other day when I had hearts, I am just trying to use up a ton of my stash or at least quite a bit of the stuff that I've got. There's even stars in some of these pictures. Um, I have a bunch of different embellishments. I am going to use a few of these things in my hand, but for the most part, all the blue stars over there, I'm going to try and use up. And then I've got this Theater of Stars paper pad. I mean, you know, like all the things, stars everywhere. Um, and this is a Recollections paper pad um, I've had for a little while, so I'm trying to get some of the papers used up out of there. I'm really trying to work towards using up loosey-goosey paper pads and embellishments um, this month. So, I have my papers. I have a bunch of different star embellishments and these foam stars. I have my pictures and a bit of an idea, so let's see how this goes. So I decided I wanted to use this kind of off-white paper. So originally that's why I decided I was gonna use the red and blue stars. I don't want it to look patriotic because it's not. Um, it is for a baby shower and there wasn't a lot of red in the decorations, but the embellishments I started out with had some red in them. Um, but um, so I'm gonna pull this paper and I decide that I wanna tear it from the other direction because I want the white edge on my, it's like I couldn't get my brain to figure out what I was doing. I want the white edge so it's a little bit more of a drastic difference between the colors um, and that bright, you know, very stark white is, you know, much more drastic than like that beigey off-white color. So, but I didn't want that huge board like bit. So I'm wanting to cover this top part that says something I'm, I'm mad theater star of magic theater or something or another I just want to cover that up because I want to have the star paper on here um but I want and then I like this dark color with like that speckled background so I get that on there and I've got my red and blue foam embellishments and I don't really like the red because it's just not what I want to work with and so I decide I'm just going to use the blue foam and see where I go from there. So now I'm pulling all that apart, which of course I could have cut this part out. <laughs> so I just put all the blue stars on here and kind of see how many I have. Um, there's only two different sizes. I couldn't tell you, these probably came in some kind of kids um, craft pack, be my guest, be my guess. <laughs> but I get them on there and I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do with my pictures. So I set my pictures down on top of those and kind of get an idea for what I want to do here. So I trim my pictures down a bit. I don't want to cut the background out from the one with my three friends. And I don't want to cut too much of the background out from the one of my friend in the astronaut costume. Because there's a banner that you can see a little bit better up close um, that says it's a boy because we were at a baby shower. And these four ladies plus a few of my other friends put the baby shower together. But these are the four who were there and helped run the show and so they took these pictures before everybody got there after they had decorated and everything and I just adore them the baby showers for my daughter I think I've already done one layout at least from the shower yes and um oh I don't know if it's posted yet based on when this goes up <laughs> but anyway um so but it, I just wanted to document these pictures because this is the before the the shower starts and in October we're doing two page layouts with um, 30 days of sketches with Christie's beautiful life and so I'm saving my um, baby shower layouts for that because there's tons of pictures and I know that that's going to be the perfect opportunity to get those on some double layouts I don't do a lot of double layouts so a whole month of them. Now, I can't guarantee I'll do a double layout every day because, you know, you can just use one side or the other or shrink it all down to one, you know, 12 by 12 or whatever. So I'm not promising that you'll see a two-page layout every day in October, but quite a bit of them. Um, so I am just, fin I finished up with the foam. I pulled out the white ones because I like that stark contrast between that and then they stand out well enough on that like beigey gray colored paper up at the top. And I needed something more and I wanted to definitely use them up. So I get those down. I'm just pushing them down. I've used my Nuvo Deluxe adhesive to get them down there. I made sure to do like a little doubled up one. Um, 
on both of the pictures of my friends. And then I'm going to add this little small astronaut um, on this picture of my friend wearing the astronaut costume. I am so excited that it fit her. A friend of mine gave it to me from work um, when I said that the shower theme was outer space because my grandson's name is going to be Apollo and so they're doing like an outer space theme all over like you know in, in his his bedroom and stuff like that so I, there, I was going to use the far out or the um one of these other uh embellishments from that paper studios collection that the astronaut came from but there's like pinks and purples and stuff in that and I didn't want to use that I pretty much stuck with blue and white plus the paper so I pulled out my sticko um letters and I wrote the word far out and then I pulled my Tim Holtz words out and so now it says far out forever friends and then I add a word phrase at the bottom that says you're all I had hoped to find in every single way and honestly I didn't even hope to have friends as wonderful as these ladies are um you know you want friends who are there for you and supportive but these ladies go above and beyond my daughter um, like I said, is pregnant and having a baby and I was going to host the shower and they were like, uh, no, you're not. And they took over, ran the whole thing, got all the supplies and it was an amazing day. And I am so grateful. Like I said, there was these four ladies who actually were able to come and then there's, um, two other ladies who weren't able to be there but helped in their own ways so I'm just very grateful but anyway I think that I've met the prompt of stars pretty good for this layout I love how it turned out super simple less than 30 minutes and a lot of stash was used up so I love that I hope you go check out the people who are hopping along with scrap timber this month and get some inspiration I would love it if you give me a thumbs up if you like this video and or my layout. I would also love it if you subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a great day. I hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love. And happy scrapping.